Everybody that I went to, retailers, um, PR agencies, everybody said no, but they're very explicit about it. They said Asian beauty is not aspirational in this country. And it, oh, it crushed me. I felt like that girl in high school again. I had like the Asian success perm. Nobody ever asked me to prom, you know? <laughs> My name is Vicky Tsai and I'm the founder of Tatcha. One day I quit my job on Wall Street. I had lots of business school debt and a mortgage, but I just said I choose happiness. I started traveling outside of Kyoto and what I learned on my learning journey to Japan is that geisha means art person. They're revered performers. I started studying with them and I also started asking them naturally about their beauty because they're so beautiful. And at the same time, the things that I was learning from them about a simpler, more beautiful, more intentional approach to life was also healing my spirit. So I created Tatcha to share the experiences. It was pretty hard the first few years. I sold my engagement ring and my car and my furniture and I worked four jobs. Sephora was actually the only retailer who from the beginning said, I believe in you, I believe in this, and I want to support this. As a brand, to be able to work with a partner like Sephora to deliver a message of making everybody feel that they can belong to something beautiful, that is something that we believe in, in our bones. My family is from Taiwan, and I grew up in the U.S. And then right before I turned 14, I moved to Texas, and I did not fit the mold at all. You know, the blonde hair, cheerleader, blue-eyed thing. It was the first time that I felt um, ashamed of how I looked, because I thought that I was so um, unacceptably unattractive. And I never saw anybody that looked like me in magazines or in TV. I still don't see people that look like me leading companies. Yeah, I'm one of the very few um, Asian American female CEOs that I know about. And it can be very damaging if I don't see myself in books. I'm not in the media, I'm not in the windows, I'm not in advertising, then I don't exist. Discrimination against Asian Americans is something that I've grown up with. It's just something that you you know is a part of your history here. It's easy to buy into stereotypes and not see someone else as a full human, but everybody deserves to feel beautiful in their skin. It's okay to celebrate every shade of beautiful, every age of beautiful, because everybody has a story and your skin tells the story of your life. <laughs>